So I have an update with regards to the foundation inspection that we did the other day. A uh, contractor came out eventually and gave us a quote eventually. So here's the situation. When you have a house and you're building a house, uh, the foundation, of course, obviously is probably the most important piece. It consists of joists, which sit on top of these giant beams which are supported by poles, and then these poles actually sit on these cement blocks, uh, which are actually called uh, piers. When you have all these, of course, your foundation is good to go unless, you know, massive earthquake comes along, which could ruin everybody's day. But uh, in this particular case, this house, when they were putting the foundation down, they didn't use piers, and that's bad. The reason why is because if you just put wood on ground, it rots. So in this particular case, what has happened is, is that the, the wood posts not only are rotting, but they're sinking into the ground. So what this does is it creates this wave underneath the floorboards and all of the beams start to bend. So instead of being straight, you know, they bend in the center, whatever it is, where the post is no longer able to support them. So this actually puts the bows in the floor. And in, in this particular case, with this particular house, the whole... Uh, front section of the house is actually sinking into the ground. I mean, you can actually feel it when you walk across the floor that it's, it's perfectly level and then it just, you know, slopes down. So the only way that the contractor can repair the foundation is to uh, literally put brand new support beams into place along with new girders. Uh, you can't use the previous posts because they're rotted. Uh, and you can't use the beams that are in there because those particular beams are now bent. They're, they're warped, so to speak, and uh, wood actually has memory. So because of that, uh, you can't you know, reuse those beams. Even if you could jack up and put brand new, um, um, uh, brand new poles in there, you can't use those beams. You've got to put brand new beams in there. So essentially, you're talking about rebuilding the foundation. So right now with the buyer, what we're looking at here is a very expensive foundation repair. The contractor's confident he can get the foundation fixed, also make it seismic friendly. So if we have an earthquake, uh, hopefully the house doesn't shatter, which is always a good, th good sign. We're working on figuring out how much will the buyer uh, put towards fixing the foundation, how much should we ask the seller to put towards the foundation. Eventually, the seller is going to have to address this problem. Even if my buyer decides to walk away and another buyer comes along, they're still going to have to confront this issue. I don't see anybody purchasing this house with the foundation in the state that it's in and just saying, ah, oh, okay, I don't care about that foundation. Let's go ahead and put 30 grand into repairs in it. I don't care. No, somehow or another, the seller is going to have to address this. It's just a question of how much my buyer wants to contribute and how much the seller wants to contribute. So yesterday, uh, I took my, my family buyers over to look at a house, which they liked and wanted to go back and take a second look. And uh, within a short period of time, the house all of a sudden became under contract with somebody else. So uh, the total number of days on the market for this particular house was actually six. So before we even had a chance to breathe, uh, the house was under contract. Uh, I just did a, uh, a market analysis report the other day. We have 1.8 months worth of inventory, which means it's a seller's market. You know, a house, if a house is in really good shape, uh, it's in a nice area, as soon as it comes on the market, it's it's gone. I mean, you're looking at, you know, multiple offers. Like I said the other day, they, they lost out. They were one of nine people that submitted an offer. They got countered along with five other people and they lost out. So. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible how fast properties uh, can get on the market and flip right off. So that's where we are today.